You've seen this have massive, broad public support. I think people see the value of nuclear being a, you know, a clean energy sort of bedrock um, and being something that supports grid reliability and power energy affordability. Big challenges that a lot of people have seen sort of the pinch of, of the last few years, unfortunately. And so, uh, you know, we see that being pretty prominent. You couple in then this big drive to bring back American jobs, to try to lead in AI, all of that's going to require significant, frankly, nuclear footprint in the country, and people see that increasingly. Also, people are getting more and more comfortable, right, with the technology. Um, so I think you see a significant amount of support there. I also think it's really important to highlight the bipartisan level of support on this topic. Since President Bush, W. Bush through President Obama, President Trump, President Biden, President Trump again, there's been this escalation in support of nuclear. And just last year, under President Biden, a Democratic you know, ha uh, Senate and a Republican House passed a sweeping regulatory modernization bill called the Advance Act that then now this president has come in and like leveled up further and opening more apertures in the government. And so what I really appreciate is there's kind of an iterative nature in the policy landscape to drive these things forward. For your question, though, I think this is actually a big opportunity to sort of align and bring in more modern ways to look at the actual sort of risks uh, and hazards of, 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 frankly, nuclear technology deployment in a way that's more focused on the actual first principles and the technology and not just the administrative, administrative and procedural aspects 